so let's get started this is uh, the VGA 2 let's make it V10 uh, lecture 2 um, interfacing to a VGA display GA display and this reference design should nicely contrast with the reference design you're doing I mean, with the design you're doing for the project which involves I squared C so that's basically interfacing to a bi-directional bus this is basically so the concept here is the concept is design two counters Okay, recording again. The concept here is to design two counters for H sync and V sync. How do I know that? Well, if you look at the user's manual on the DE1 system CD, the user's manual is on the system CD under the folder DE1 user's manual. If you go to the VGA display section, uh, let's say using the VGA, so here is your uh, DE1 board connector. So the main uh, signals, uh, the main ports of interest are VGA 8 sync and VGA V sync. The RGB is just a 4-bit color value. So if you want to display white, R is all 1, G is all 1, B is all 1. But here is the horizontal timing spec. Okay, And in this table here, it gives you the necessary information. But in my um, opinion, let's see. Edit first, let me take a snapshot of this. My opinion, uh, I like the uh, description of the VGA timing interface on the web better, particularly. Uh, let me just paste this. So the goal is you got to come up with two counters, one for horizontal uh, timing specification, which is given here, and the other for sorry. Uh, this is the horizontal timing spec. This is the yeah. This is the vertical timing spec. The waveforms for V-Sync is this pretty much the same as H-Sync. Right? This just shows H-Sync. It's a picture here. But what I usually use is I use this website. Uh, let's see. Where's my... If I go here, I use tinyvga.com. So it's got a nice... Uh, it's got the specs on VGA timing. So we're going to do 640 by 480 at 75 hertz. Pixel clock is 31.5 megahertz. So here it is, okay? So these are the timing specs I use. So here is like visible area, front, front porch, sync pulse, back porch, whole line. And you can contrast this with the picture here. notice this is the sync pulse okay so on the sync pulse you can see that the timing from tinyvga.com and your user's manual varies a little bit but the reason why it varies is if you look at the pixel clock this is 25 megahertz whereas at 75 hertz refresh rate uh, the pixel frequency is 31.5 megahertz. So if you wish, we can figure out if there is a 25, uh, it's 25.175 megahertz. So 60 hertz is the industry standard. So let's actually look at that. And basically, the reason why I'm pointing out this website is some of the older CRT monitors are very picky on VGA timing. The timing has to be precise in the sense the pixel clock frequency must be 25.175 megahertz. If not, then some of the older monitors will not respond. How do you know that your timing is off for your VGA interface if your monitor does not respond? So for example, in the user's manual, it says 25 megahertz. This may be an issue with some of the older monitors. So that's why I like to use this website for timing information. But anyway, so basically, in addition to the two counters for H-Sync and V-Sync, you obviously need a uh, way to generate the 24.175 megahertz clock, you can use a PLL to do that. That is, you can step down, uh, for example, from 50 megahertz to 25.175 megahertz, or you can just simply use a counter. Okay. Uh, 
the reference design is already online. So it's actually, if you go to 3921 on the digital systems website, it's not under 2902, it's under 3921, VGA interfacing, uh, VHDL and VGA display. So I'm just gonna save this on my desktop, unzip it and just go through it pretty quickly. Save it there, done. this anymore. Here it is. Extract all. Extract. So I don't need this anymore. The zip. Here it is. Okay. Oh, actually, I think I do a different. Uh, so I do. Let's look at this. Okay. So what I have here actually is I have a bunch of different uh, files. What I do is I support multiple resolutions. Uh, let's see. Let me just look at the help. And then you will see what I'm talking about. So if you go into VGA display, this design simply changes the background color in a specific resolution. So there are different resolutions uh, and the design is basically incomplete so you need to finish higher resolution support and that's why I have all these PLLs like I have a 200 megahertz PLL so if you go back to the tiny VGA website you can see that for higher resolutions uh, let's see so for 200 megahertz for example you can just look through this I guess I was doing 1600 by 1200, but it's 202.4 megahertz. Anyway, you can look at the different resolutions that are supported on TinyVGA and finish this. Uh, but let's look at, I'm just going to look at the horizontal vertical counter. Notice I also have a signal tap file for you to uh, use. Okay, so here is the horizontal vertical counter. So for now, we're just going to uh, and output uh, 640 by 480. Spelling mistake there. That output doesn't matter online in the zip file. There's still, it's still going to be there. So again, the tinyvg.com website is useful. So as you can see, I just have two counters, okay, eight sync and vsync. So it's synchronous counters, of course. So when I basically, if it's greater than 799, I reset. If not, I keep counting. And the central idea is for different regions of H count and V count, I turn on or off H sync, V sync. Uh, I turn on or off H sync and I turn on or off V sync. It's actually very simple, this interface. And that's why I didn't give this to you as a course project. Okay. And I, uh, point number one, point number two, to turn on the pixels in the specified region. Notice that the pixel, the data should go only in this display interval. And that's easy to do. Uh, so if I am between, in this case, 640 and 480, I set the signal to 1, this internal signal. If not, I set it to 0. And then here, the video on is simply the AND of these two signals. Video on H and video on V. Again, video on H and video on V are asserted. So these two signals are asserted only in this display interval. If not, the color should be zero, the data. You see that? So only in this display interval, that is when each count for 640 by 480, when each count is between six, 0 to 639, and we count is between 0 and 479, these signals are asserted. So when the signals are asserted, I just send out the red, green, and blue, and these red ends and green ends are basically coming from switches. Okay. I, have one, I have one switch for red, one switch for green, and one switch for blue, and that's why I'm anding or concatenating, I'm sorry, concatenating the input bits together. So that's about it. Let me just quickly synthesize this and show you the RTL view. What you should do is, yeah, it's saying I modified it because I added the T in the word output. But anyway, uh, what you should do is you should do a full uh, synthesis 
and then download the design onto the FPGA on the DE1 board and make sure this design works for 640 by 480 resolution. So if you connect this to a monitor, and then uh, let's see what my switches are. Uh, zero, 01 is choose resolution. Right now it's only 640 by 480. 2, 3, and 4 just choose the color. Okay, so if 2, 3, and 4 are all up, that means you should see a white screen. Okay. So if 2 is high, 3 is low, and 4 is low, then you should see a red screen. Let's just look at the RTL view. Uh, so horizontal vertical counter and well just a bunch of counters okay no latches of course yeah that's about it for the VGA display interface it's a very simple uh, design again just two counters one for each sync one for vsync 